<laughs> okay, unboxing. Oh no! Damn! All right, let's unbox this bad boy. We got some goodies in here that we're gonna make the uh, Bridgeport work with. Well, not some goodies, one goodies. But it's kind of like a, a, a the most important part to make this thing run in my shop. Because without this bad boy. <sighs> okay. One of these. It's one of these things. All right, it's a uh, variable frequency drive converter, inverter, rather. So this will do. Get out of the way. Don't. This is really painful to watch. Okay, so this will do a 10 horsepower motor. So I bought a big giant one in case I wanted to use it on anything else or if I got a different bridge port or whatever. So yeah, um, we need this to change it from sing, you know, uh, single phase to three phase. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So now I have to read the manual and see what the heck uh, and how to do this. That's it, pretty much. Okay, I have to clean this stuff off, obviously, so I can put my brand new vise on here, which is freaking awesome. And then we're gonna wire this pig up and, you know, make it work. So, I will use YouTube magic and this stuff will be gone. All right, now that we got this thing all cleaned up just a little bit, we're gonna go through the wiring of, a, of this guy here and, um, get this thing rolling because I haven't used it in, I don't know, a year that it's been sitting in the back corner. So, whatever. So this is my makeshift wire for my lights. Don't pay any attention. Okay, so anyway, I gotta, um, I gotta get these wires going. So, I have the black, the red, the white, the green for the ground. <laughs> Cut, no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this hooked up to that box. And, you know, you know the deal. If you guys have any questions, I can just answer them for you. I'll show you exactly which wires go where and why. I'm probably not gonna go through the programming of this because there's a lot, a lot of in-depth things. Just message me and uh, I'll give you a hint. Okay, let me get back to it. All right guys, so from the front of this module where you wanna hook up your wires, you have your your ground is going to go all the way to the left, so that'll be your ground. This is your single phase coming in. Ground's to the left, all the way. And then your next two are going to be your hots. So that's your single phase coming in. Very simple. Your three phase going out is going to be these last three. There's actually a label here that's labeled motor, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So it doesn't matter which direction these go or where they go, just match up, you know, put them on there. There's a million different scenarios you can do. There's a ton of um, information on YouTube about it. So just kind of search through there for whatever you're going to do, whether you're going to run a lathe or a bridge port or whatever. They're pretty much both the same. It just depends on... Actually, the lathe is a little bit more horsepower than most bridge ports. A lot, a lot of lathes are actually way more horsepower than most bridge ports. But anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. That's all you need to get this, uh, get this thing done. All right, it was pretty simple to do. Not not a big uh, deal. I just oiled her up a little bit because in here it gets a little rusty. I'm gonna have to freaking cover this thing in oil, and especially this thing, I'm gonna have to cover it in oil and wrap it with uh, maybe some saran wrap or pla some type of plastic. <clears throat> um, I could coat it with Cosmoline. That's a really thick oil. That's usually what they ship these things with anyway, or most machines. Um, so yeah, hooking this thing up was pretty easy. I got this one, this is for a, a 10 horsepower motor. This is not 10 horse, it's like old, so it's probably one, one and a half, maybe two at the most. Um, I programmed all the frequencies and startup speed, ramp up and ramp down, 
I still got a little bit more to go. I got to read the manual some more. Um, but as far as hooking this thing up, it was real simple. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And there's a whole bunch of options in here that I'll never use, but they're here just in case I do use them. So this whole box I'm going to probably mount against the wall, maybe, and this control panel will come out and there's an extension cable that I could buy to mount just this little control panel, like wherever. I'll probably mount this probably close to somewhere here. Um, so I'm no longer going to use the reverse and forward um, switch on there because it's going to be done through here. So I could actually still use it for reverse, but I'm not going to use reverse unless I, you know, tap. But I'm not tapping anything with this machine, more than likely. I can't tap everything anyway. Um, yeah, this thing was like 300 bucks. So if you guys want to get one, that's how much it was. Yeah, about 300 bucks. And then you need to wire, wire this. It was pretty self-explanatory. Um, as far as the connections in here, they're not hard. You got your single phase coming in and your three phase going out. Uh, just remember you got to ground it. So this is grounded, this is grounded, gets grounded or plugged. All right guys, I wired it up. I hope that uh, it doesn't explode when I plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in now and see what happens. Hopefully it turns on and then uh, I'll go through the programming things through the book and all that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through it with all you guys, but whatever. We'll, uh, we'll see if I can blow it up or not. Oh, it clicked on. Holy shit, it's on. Look at that, it's flashing at 50 hertz. But remember, this stuff runs at 60 hertz. Well, it'll run 50, 60, but 60 hertz is what we're gonna run it at. So let me go through all that programming and everything and see if this thing will actually turn on. It'll be freaking awesome. Okay, bye. All right, well, we got it wired, hopefully. I'm gonna fucking flip the switch. I'm gonna hit run. This thing should start spinning up slowly and it should ramp up to full speed. And then I'll adjust with a little bit, you know, a little bit of the adjustments in there to get it to turn on a little faster so it doesn't take so long. So it does take probably, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds to get to full speed, full RPM for that. Not sure what's gonna happen. I'm gonna flip the switch, then I'm gonna hit run and this thing should fire up. Run. There we go, she's moving. Well, it is exciting. Very exciting. She's fired up. So there's no collet in there, that's why that, that's making a little bit of noise. So that's at 60 hertz. All I gotta do is change the, the belt and it'll give me a different RPM. So yeah, you hit stop. It'll ramp down. And that's that. Let me uh, mess around with it a little bit more and then I'll give you guys some more information on it. Super excited, I got my bajillion dollar Kurt Vice, which I was searching forever for. I finally found it, so yeah, that's pretty much um, pretty much it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, I'll try to make some more. It's been a pain in the ass, I've been real busy. so. Yeah, thanks for watching. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.